we are on Kushan Mohan Ramay, Aap Ke Saad, from AC Media. Today we have Mr. Rahul Agarwal, the Dean of Student Welfare. Sir, from how many years you have been working in the college and what are your experiences? Uh, this is my 15th year with the Anand Engineering College and definitely all my experiences have been very very sweet and that is the only reason why I have been continuing with Anand for the last 15 years. Sir, uh, you have been now made the Dean of Student Welfare. Yeah. So, how is the change from, from uh, the day you came into the Anand Engineering College till now has been through? Well, the journey has been all full of uh, ups and downs. And definitely I also believe that if the journey has been very very smooth, if you don't have any experiences, any unforeseen events and any ups and downs in the journey, then definitely you don't gain any experience. Because in the words of a, a French general, if you haven't been at the front, if you haven't been in war throughout your life, in that case your experience is zero. Same is the case with me. I strongly believe his words and okay, the changes in life, they are for certain. So, what are the most memorable moments in college? In college, there are all memorable moments in my lectures. Because at the end of my lecture, when I see that sense of fulfillment on the faces of my students, that sense of contentment on the face of my students, then definitely it makes me feel very happy. Because that is the very richest what I am earning from Anand Engineering College. Sir, as we have seen and heard from the students, that you are very in a jolly mood while teaching. Yeah. So what is the reason behind that? Some teachers prefer strict teaching. What is your reason behind jolly nature? See, uh, if you enjoy what you do, in that case you will remain happy. And same is the case with me. I enjoy teaching and that is the reason why if you enjoy doing something, then definitely you would be happy. You would be in a jolly mood. And same is the case with me. I enjoy teaching. And that is the reason why uh, I take it very well. So as you can see, the timing of college has been increased. So, sir, do you really think that increasing the timing of the college, putting more pressure on the students during the class hours, would it increase the percentage of students in university examination? Um, again, down here, this is a question which has been deliberated again and again. So, what I strongly feel is that, uh, me as a teacher, what I can make the students understand in 5 minutes, the same thing, uh, and again, what I am uh, disseminating among the students, what I am communicating to the students is something what I have learned from many of us. So the same thing if students are able to understand in 10 minutes in my lecture, if they go back home and if they try to understand it by their own, it will take them probably 1 hour to 2 hours. To save them, to save the students from all that hard work and all the midnight oil what they are burning. So it's better that we communicate all the techies in the class itself. But sir, from 9.30 to 4.20 and after that extracurricular activity, don't you think the student is having much pressure on him? Again, at Anand Engineering College, I strongly believe that uh, the, the sole motto of the students is uh, not only to convert them into a worthy engineer, but uh, to make them a uh, responsible citizen of India. And towards that end, what I strongly feel is that uh, there should be a proper blend of academics along with extracurricular activities. And again, as it has been wisely said, there is no shortcut to success. So fine, if you want to go out and fulfill your dreams, you need to hone an overall personality. And to hone your overall personality, you need to put in those extra hours. Sir, you know, this ceremony of progress has become very good. It has become a good idea. So, do you think that the ceremony of progress will be a good idea? Definitely not. Because I strongly believe in the capabilities of my students. I know that my students, they can handle the pressure very well. So CTS is nothing, it's a petty issue. When it comes to my students, I have full trust on them. Sir, Cerebro has a seat. Now, if the Cerebro is involved, the CTS is in college hours, so after the college, you have a poster in the class. So, do you think that the test marks will be done? Definitely not, because when it comes to appearing in the CTS, it is not to do with the last minute studies. It is something what they have been doing right from the starting of the semester. So, definitely it is not going to affect them. If they have not been able to study for last one day, definitely it won't be having any any effect on the city marks. Sir, a question from management. Ah. Sir, actually there are some students who are not very financially in a better way. So, why students are not given chance to submit their fees half in one semester and half in another? They are forced to pay their fees in one semester only first semester starting. In the uh, starting of first semester. first semester? See, this has been the rule with most of the colleges in Uttar Pradesh. 
that uh, we realize the fees uh, at the starting of the year in the first semester itself whatever the semester it might be in the odd semester but uh, this is not true many students they have been given the leverage to submit their fees in three installments in four installments in five installments i have got proof with me i have got many examples with me where the students they have submitted their fees in five installments the students those who were financially weak those who had proper proof of it because now um, nowadays it's very hard to differentiate from a person who is really a needy boy and the people those who are trying to pose off as if they don't have money there is a wide difference between the two so wherever we have come across students uh, where we feel that uh, definitely they are in a financial crunch we have given them the leverage we have given them the flexibility to submit their fees in 3 4 even 5 songs so you are saying that uh, as a management person you have given the chances of uh, submitting the fees in second semester half in second semester not exactly half in semester second semester as and when required because many times they have been incidences where the student he said he has been on loan from the bank mm. so when a student approaches us that uh, the bank uh, is saying that unless and until they are not provided with the last semester mark sheet they won't be uh, forwarding their remaining loan so in that case yes we have waited for it unless and until the student is not able to produce the mark sheet from the university till that time we have given the flexibility that has always been there and we know that the banks will do that unless and until they don't uh, give you they don't uh, the students they don't provide their pass certificates to the banks they won't be releasing their loan amounts so this is something we have always been done we have always been doing and, and apart from that the fees which is realized from the samaj kalyan vibhag they have been uh, giving it to the college as late as one year one and a half year two years so again we have been uh, complying with it so the students those who have been studying in third year or final year their fees of second year is being realized now so okay those are ways of the world and again at the end of the day this is a self sustaining institute so unless and until we don't have money we won't be able to run that institute so what is step we would like to take for the advancement of academics in this college for the advancement of academics like you come classes at this time we kya karna chahenge the first thing is i would like to ensure that all my students they attend the classes number one <laughs> they should be 100% attendance and apart from that a student every student in this campus he or she they should be having 100% attendance throughout the semester if not 100% in that case it should be at least 75% this is the least what i can expect from my student fine we are again waiving of 25% and that is in the case of marriages illness medical any unforeseen event and things like that so uh, definitely if students they are able to or rather if they are present for 75% of the class throughout the semester they are going to come out in flying colors so if this, as you can see that pdp classes that are being held in only shardoka yes. institute is a uh, Gaining much popularity. Yes. So, do you really think it is playing an important role in placement of the students? It has got a lot many things because in the placement, it is not only the technical things that matter, but apart from that, there are many other issues that need to be addressed, like your etiquette, how you communicate, your body posture, the way you talk, the way you handle your interviews. So, all these skills, these are something what you gain from the PDP classes only. So, yes, definitely, I support the PDP classes with all my heart. पिछली साल इस सर्वे में कन्वेनर आप थे और इस बार इधर भी सर तो कोई डिफरेंस आया सर उन दोनों सर्वे में सर्वे टू के वन थ्री एंड टू के वन फोर सी एवरी ईयर वी एज्यूम दैट द थिंग्स दे वुड दे वुड बी सेटिंग अप न्यू बेंचमार्क्स सो डेफिनेटली आई एक्सपेक्ट दैट 2014 सर्वे इट वुड बी मच मच बेटर देन सर्वे टू के थर्टीन इट वुड बी सेटिंग अप न्यू बेंच न्यू स्टैंडर्ड्स फॉर द टीम ऑफ सर्वे टू के फिफ्टीन सो डेफिनेटली इट हैजू बी वन स्टेप आई Sir, the sports complex has been constructed and has been and is being opened. Activity center. Activity center. Sir, the day scholars yet are not able to take part in it because of the busy hectic schedule of work academics. So, what are your tactics? To uh, towards that end, what we are doing is we are planning that after the college hours till probably 5:30 or 6 o'clock in the evening, the activity center would be solely for the day skis, and after 6 o'clock it would be handed over to the hostels. But uh, after 6 o'clock, as you can see, the girls are only allowed to sit. Uh, the uh, the hostels, hostels. Uh, obviously uh, the security issues always there. So one hour daily is more than enough. If you are able to uh, devote one hour to your extracurricular activities daily, so I don't see any point that why you are lagging behind. Sir, so, uh, the academics and activity active participation are inverse ratio. As you can see that the students are involved in 
extracurricular activities, their attendance is not up to the mandatory mark. So, how students should manage this? They should be able to strike a balance between the two. How? More of everything is bad. अगर आप ज़्यादा घी भी खाएंगे तो वो भी आपकी सेहत के लिए हानिकारक होता है। So again, there is everything should be taken in proper quantities. Sir, students को अपने कैसे manage करना चाहिए? Should they prepare some timetable or should they? The students should be able to have a good time management. They should be good time managers, and this is the key to success. So actually, you are saying that the students who can manage the time up to the best. Obviously. Obvious. You should not waste your time. Out of 24 hours, you should be uh, able to manage. You should be able to judge. You should be able to finalize. You should be having a timetable in your hand, in your frame. If not in hand, in your mind. That this is. These are my sleeping hours. These are my study hours. This is the time what I will be devoting for my sport activities. This is the time what I will be devoting for my extracurricular activities. And this is the time I will be having my food. And this will be my study time. Everything should be fixed. Talking about internal. The internals are yet not being given up to the marks of students. See, again understand one thing. Internals are the reflection of what you do throughout the semester. It's a very transparent system. It is 30, 10, 10. 30 marks for whatever you do in your CT1, CT2, and PUT. 10 marks for your attendance. And 10 marks for your tutorial assignment and quiz. It's a very transparent system. Very, very transparent system. You know how you fared in your CT1, CT2, and PUT? So whatever the marks you attend out of the three tests, they are converted into 30. The attendance marks it is out of 10. And the tutorial assignment and quiz again they are out of 10. So wherever you see that you are getting less marks than what you deserve, you can always approach me. Now if you feel that uh, you, your marks, they would be suddenly pumped up, they would be inflated without any basis, then I am sorry. You are misguided, you are mistaken. So college people are scared that in other colleges we are more and less than what we are doing. What is that? See, uh, we don't believe in uh, putting our children on the wrong path. <laughs> we strongly believe that you should be uh, shown a mirror, you should be able uh, to judge as to where you stand, you should be told about your weaknesses and about your strengths. So towards that end definitely, for that purpose we definitely need to give you the marks what you deserve. Any motivation words for the students of Anand Engineering College? Live life, think fast, die hard. Any words for media? Excellent, mind blowing, hypnotizing, mesmerizing, good job done, interview very good. Thank you sir. Thank you, thank you very much. So this is our Dean X student with Anand Engineering College. We will meet you in our special show, Kuch Anmol Lame, with you.